answers. Thank you. Good luck, Pala. Over to you. Yeah. Okay. A very good morning to all. This is Falak Shabari, your Zoom master. Let us know some ground rules for before we start the event. Number one, performers are expected to perform only with the views on. They can switch it off after the performance. Number two, do not use a chat box when the performers are on stage as it will distract them. Number three, do not unmute unless you are asked to. And number four, please remove yourselves as per your roles and performances. Let us make this day a truly eventful, fun-filled and mem memorable for our special guests, our mothers. Good luck. Over to our two phenomenal MCs, Hazel and Haslet. Thank you. Why is everyone going gaga about today? What is so special? Well, it's one of the most significant days of the year, you silly. It's Mother's Day. Don't tell me you didn't wish your mother yet. Well, um, uh, no, no, I mean, not really. Don't worry. Today's event is planned in such a manner you will have more than a hundred ways to say Happy Mother's Day. That's fantastic. Hazel, I think it's time to introduce ourselves. Greetings, one and all. I am Hassanay Shahwad Ali, and with me today is Hazel Tucker. And we are your zealful MCs for today. So let's get into it. But before that, let me invite our club coach, Mrs. Stardom Sheikh, to inspire us with her words. Over to you. Thank you so much to our gorgeous MCs. They are indeed great. So thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to give my opening address to you. This is indeed a super special day, not just because I'm a mother to, a, to an 11-year-old beautiful girl, but it is also a very... Um, a, a privilege and an honor to, for me to uh, be a part of this event because I have 20 gorgeous children. I'm a mother to those 20 gorgeous kids because every single day um, as a mother and as a teacher, I feel our roles coexist. As a teacher, I can never uh, stop thinking about the well-being of my students, the progress of my students and, uh, and the happiness of my students. So I think both the roles really coexist. And on this auspicious and a fantastic day, I would like to wish all you beautiful mommies who have really chosen to be here with us and encourage my little champs to showcase their best. So this seems like a very, very, very big thing for me. Uh, and I'd like to thank each of the mothers who are here uh, for being here. I am sure you are going to have loads of fun because the, these children have so painstakingly planned this entire event. So sit back, enjoy and feel special because this is your day. This is our day. Over to you both. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for pouring your wonderful words. Well, we students have painstakingly organized this event in honor of our hardworking mothers. So, mummies, shortly you will be witnessing heart-touching plays, speeches, poems, no! and... Hold up. Don't share and reveal the surprises. Let suspense flow. Oops, sorry about that. But I do would like to add one more thing dedicated to our moms. To the world, you are a mother, but to us, you are our world by Anonymous. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. First, I would like to call Falak Shabalali with her speech, best in the world, our mothers. Over to you. Thank you. Today, I've got a tremendous opportunity to express my feelings towards my mother and all the mothers of the world through these not so great words of mine. Sure, no words can describe our gratitude or thanks for our mothers. They are the most precious gift to us. Everywhere in our lives, the mother's role is supreme. Behind the success of every single great person, there is inspiration of their mother. 
She is our first teacher, our first guide, and our first friend. She gets a second lease of life when the child is born, and she smiles when the child smiles. She cries when the child weeps, and she sleeps when she finds her child asleep. Her great source of happiness is the happiness of her child, and she has contended if her child is so. For her, the whole world is her children and her family. She is the only creature in this world whom even God bows down to. She is the epitome of love, devotion, sacrifice, and generosity. Her presence in this world provides solace to the suffering humanity, and her smiling face removes all the sorrows and frets of this world. So in a way, she is the nucleus of the family. No mother, no family. No family, no society. And no society, no country, no world, and no existence of human beings. I can't say more than that. Thanks for listening with such significant patience. Happy Mother's Day. Wow, what a brilliant piece written by Falak. But before we go to our next speaker, I would like to ask Snain a question. Snain, what is one thing you're lucky to have? Well, it's a lot. I love my birds. I love my clothes. I love everything. But the most important part is my mother. Bingo! You got it right. On that note, Let's welcome Javeria Khan with her poem, Lucky to Have You, Mom. All the best. Hello, mommies. My name is Javeria. I'm so pleased to have this opportunity to share this poem, which I wrote specially for my mother, Dr. Shagupta. This poem is also dedicated to all the mothers out there. Lucky to call you mom. I'm very lucky to have someone like you, as when I was sad, you gave me faith. When I felt I couldn't go on, you carried me miles. When I didn't feel my best, you restored my smiles. When I didn't feel my best, you restored my smiles. I got older and the story repeated again and again. You were always there whenever I needed you. You guided me and wished me the best. I became wiser and knew I was blessed. You loved me with all your heart. You taught me so much with more in store. And with each day that passes, I love you 10,000 times more. God blessed me with an angel I'm proud to call my own. She's been with me throughout my life, been with me as I've grown. She's guided me the best she can. She's taught me like no other. I'm thankful I am the lucky one to call her mother. Why is there only one Mother's Day? You should have at least gotten the entire month of May. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Over to you. Can we hear a round of applause, virtual round of applause for all our fantabulous contestants? Thank you, Juvaria. Over to the host. Wow, that was an amazing and astonishing speech. I felt it. Now, I would like to call Dhruv Lakshwari for his speech, for his monologue. Please save me from my mom. Over to you. Hi there. Hi there. Dhruv, one moment. Dhruv, one moment. Let me just pin you, dear. Give me a second. Okay, I can't. I'm not able to figure out. Yeah. Is your video on, Dhruv? Yes. One moment. Wait a second. I'll, I'll give you a cue to start. Okay. Right. Uh, Drew, can you please put your camera a little down? Can you, can we see your upper body? Yes. This looks great. Uh, a little more, a little more. We need to see your hand gestures as well. Yeah. A uh, little more. Yeah. Now one thing is missing. Your smile. Yes. Over to you. Hey there. Do you know which is my secret hiding place and who I'm hiding from? It's the garage, and I'm hiding from my mom. Why? There are a zillion reasons for, for it. I don't know where to start from. Pla um, when she wakes me up, she wants to give me two big pancakes and one and one big of and one big bowl of fruits, plus milk. 
which I drink from a gigantic glass. I somehow managed to gulp the entire thing just so I can resume my PlayStation games. My tummy makes my tummy makes a lot of sounds, but I but I enjoy playing Minecraft so much. One minute, I enjoy playing Minecraft so much that my ears are shut for get another call. Dhruv, lunch is ready. Lunch? Are you serious? This is this is my tummy is a, my tummy is not a garbage truck. I wish I could say this, but I said yes, mom. I reached the kitchen in snail space and picked up the food plate, pretended to eat a bite or two. But then there she is again. This is your plate roof. I got blinded by the sight of a ginormous plate with chicken, soup, varieties of curry, rice, salad, pickle, and list and the list is endless. I ran, I ran from there and now I'm here. God, please save me from my mummy. Let's hear it for Dhruv. Come on, let's let's show a virtual round of applause. Thank you. Wow, amazing, Drew. Well, moving on to our next one, I would like to ask Hasnain one more question. Hasnain, have you ever felt angry on your mom and felt that you and prayed that you want another? Well, I have never done that. No, never. I love my mom just the way she is. Bingo, once again. Well, moving on to our next play artist, Let's welcome a round of applause for Arshia, Heer, Mawish, and Tanisha. For the creative play, I Want My Mother. Over to you. Okay. You are not as old as uh, you. Mavish, Mavish, one moment. Mavish, one moment. I'll give you a cue to start. Okay, give me a second. Okay, mom. Here, could you just switch on your video for a minute so I can pin you? Thank you. All right, there you go, girls. Over to you. You are not as old as you think. And if your friends go home late, you are not young lady. You are my daughter. And while you live under this roof, you will do as I say. It's not fair. We just want you to do what you want. I am a good daughter. Let's see, good daughter, how come you don't have good grades in math? How come you don't wash the dishes when I told you to do it? How come you don't go to bed early? You should do what I tell you to do and not when you want to do it. You know what? I have to go. It's getting late for work. Clean the bathroom and the living room and wash your clothes. Oh. And don't open the door to strangers. Blah, blah, blah. I am not going to do anything. I wish I had another mother. Your wish is granted. Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother. Ask me whatever you want. That's not true. It's only my imagination. Wait, let me in. I want someone that treats me well, that lets me do what I want to do, and someone that buys me everything I want and everything I like. Your, Your wish is granted. Sachin, join. Other one enters. Wow, listen mom, I just want to tell you that I want to go out with my friends and I want to come home late. I need some money to buy my things. Take it and do whatever you want to do. Do you remember that the other day I told you about this girl that was... I gave you what you want. I don't have time to listen to your story. I'm going to the beauty shop. Bye. Fairy gone, Tata. Why are you yelling? How did... You, you exaggerated. I wanted to talk to her, but she wouldn't let me. What do you want me to do then? 
I want her to be nice to me. I want her to love me and listen to me. Are you sure that's what you want? I am sure. Come on, do it. Mother too enters. My dear daughter, my flesh and blood, I miss you so much. How are you, sweetheart? Tell me everything you want to tell me. I am all ears. Tell me what has happened in your life. Mother, relax. Everything is fine. I just want you to be different, but not too different. Oh, sweetheart, tell me what do you want to eat? What do you want to tell me? Tell me everything. Just go to the store and buy me something to eat. I am hungry. Sure, sweetheart. What do you want to eat? I want to eat. Godmother, what's wrong with you, fairy godmother? Why do you give me what I don't have, sweetie? You told me that you wanted someone who cares for you, who loves you, and who listens to you. Yeah, I know that, but not that much. Maybe you know someone strict, but at the same time, someone who cares for me and loves me. Very well. I'm giving you what you asked for. Mother tree enters. Sit straight. Do you want to eat something? Yeah. You have to say yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. From now onwards, food will be served at twelve p.m. sharp. You are not allowed to go out after ten p.m. You'll watch TV from five to six p.m. And you'll go to the bed at eight o'clock. Understood? Yes, ma'am. You must follow the rules. There will be no changes. And now you must clean the whole house. I have to go for shopping. And when I come back, I expect everything to be really neat. If not, you'll be punished. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Mother three leaves. I can't believe it. What's wrong with you, fairy godmother? What is your problem? I give you what you want, and you get angry at me. Listen, Jennifer. I just wanted you to see what you have at home. You don't have to be looking around somewhere else when you already have it. Now tell me, does your mother take care of you? Yeah, she cooks my favorite meal every day. Does she listen to you when you have something to tell her? Yeah. She's always there for me. Well, yeah, I do get mad at her because she never lets me go out with my friends. Being a mother is a full-time job. Even if she's not here right now, she prays for you all the time, and she tries so hard so you can be comfortable. Each one of us has the best mother in the world. Yeah, I understand. It's just that sometimes it's hard to get a daughter. I want my mother back. Yes, and for her, it's also hard being a good mother. The cell phone rings and Jennifer answers it. Hello, mother. Yes, hello. I'm so happy to hear your voice. Are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Are you coming home? Yes. Okay, mother, I will clean the house. What do you want to eat? Uh, pizza. You want to eat pizza? Perfect. Mom, I really want to tell you something. Thank you for being my mother. You're the best mother in the world. And forgive me for being the way I am with you. I will try to be a better daughter. You are the best. Don't worry. I love you, Mom. Okay. I'll wait here for you. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank you, Fairy Godmother. You taught me a lesson. Thank you, children. Thank you so much. It was a very informative play and you left a very deep message for all of us to reflect. Thank you so much. MCs, please take over. Wow. It was astounding. I'm speechless.
and what an incredible message you left to us. Well, Hasnain, what is one thing you received from your mom the most? Well, Mike, uh, presents, birthday gifts, I don't know. Like, but the most important, I think, is her love. Perfect! Bingo once again! Well, on that note, let's welcome Noelle Cake with her poem on Mother's Love, which I'm sure is endless. Over to you, Noelle. Nawal, you're not audible, dear. Nawal, we can't hear you. Yes. Yes, we can't hear you, Nawal. Can you try joining in? Rejoining in? I guess you had some network issue. No, no. No worries. You can just fix it up. We'll go ahead with uh, Aisha. MCs, please take yes. over. We'll go with the next uh, performer. Okay. We can't hear you. What? Please mute yourself, everyone. Hasnan, can you please take over? Hasnan and the uh, yes. Yeah. Next act is a monologue by Aisha Doha. In this monologue, you are going to witness the mother's joy of seeing the child follow his passion. The mother is excited to see Jordan, her son, becoming a chef. Let let us put our our hands for together for Aisha. Over to you. Well, you would have knocked me over with a feather when Jordan told me he wanted to be a chef. He seemed more like a future astronaut or a fireman kind of kid. But I'm not complaining. It's been so much of fun having him in the kitchen with me, working side by side. I love that I get to pass down all their family recipes to him. My mother would have been so proud. One day when he's married and cooking up all these fantastic recipes for his family, his wife will be thanking me. It's been so funny him watching him learn his way around the kitchen too. There's so much he doesn't know. He's in awe of pretty much everything. You should have seen his face when I showed him how to dip the bread in water and then squeeze it like a dish rag when we were making meatballs the other day. Pure and utter shock. I love showing him all the tricks of the trade. It makes me laugh when he's crying like a baby chopping onions. If only his sock of friends could see him then. <laughs> but his secret is safe with me. I wouldn't trade this time with him for anything. I may have to buy some cookbooks when I run out of family recipes. My boy, a chef? Who would have thought? Thank you, Aisha. Right. MCs, over to you. Wonderful. Hilarious. I am uttered in amazement. So, the next act is again super special. This wonderful animation presentation is created by Aisha Saldana. The topic for this is Mother's Sacrifice. Just a minute, Isha. I'll give you the cue to start. Give me a second. Are you, uh, you able to share the screen? Isha? Yes, Isha, we can't see you, but is your video on? Yes, miss. Miss, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are, you are audible, dear. Okay. Uh, one more. Yeah, Isha. Yeah, I've spotlighted you. Over to you, Isha. Yes, miss. Happy Mother's Day to all the mommies. Mothers are women who give birth or has responsibilities of all the emotions and care. Mothers have different religion, different culture, but there is one thing that all mommies pray to their God, and that is about their child's happiness. This is my mom, 
and this is me. Mothers can sacrifice everything for herself. Like moms spend their most of the time with you when you are small. They feed you when you don't want to eat at all. They explain you like a teacher, you know. They will comfort you when you cry. Moms are actually gift of God for a child. No one in the world can live without a mom. No cultures matter against the love of a mom, what she has for her child. Thank you all mothers for paying attention. No need for welcome. All I need is just your smile. Thank you. Thank you so much, Isha. It was a beautiful presentation created by you. Thank you so much. I'm sure you made them feel truly special. Right. That, that was fabulous. You explained what a mother does, how they help, how that if we if we don't have a mother, they will be uh, there are there are only hope. Next up, we have Lokesh with his uh, with his poetry recitation, Angel Mother. Over to you. Angel Mother, Anonymous. Mother, you are the angel who brought me into being, watched over me, guided me, sheltered me, prepared and restored me. When I was lost, your focused attention and unconditional love lifted me and showed me the way. If I could be as good as you, my loving heart would make my family glad. I'd be a good example in all I do. I'd give my all, give everything I had. If I could be as good as you, I'd make each day for my family a pleasure. I'd use my energy, my love, my gifts, creating memories. They would always treasure. I give you the credit for the best part of who I am today. I don't have words or gifts or anything that's worth enough to let you know what having you in my life has meant to me. You have done so much, I never, never could repay. I love you, mom. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Lokesh. It was such a wonderful poem. That was amazing. And I bet your mother loved it. Now, let's bring an end to this fantabulous show. Hold up. Hold up. You are missing something. What more? How fun-filled will this show be? More than you can think of. Let's bring on Game Time by Shreyas Chapter 14. Over to you. Hello, everyone. I am Superstar Shreyas. I am pleased to have the opportunity to be the Games Master for today. I personally feel that I am the best Games Master. In Games section, we have two segments. First, mind-boggling quiz and second rebuttal tennis wait wait not that lawn tennis or table tennis it is word tennis so we are going to start with our first game that is drum rolls mind-boggling quiz the rules are very simple if you know the answer you will show your virtual hand if you guess the correct answer, you will get one point each. So the scorekeeper, or you can say the judge for this game is none other than strong as lion. That is Mr. Lokesh Chauhan. So over to you, Lokesh. 
May I please request all the parents to switch on their videos so that they can participate in the game? Yes, ma'am. Sure. Thank you. All, all parents to kindly switch on their videos. This is the only chance we get to see uh, each other's moms. I'm sure the kids are also excited. Uh, and uh, Nawal, you'll be uh, you will be doing your poem after the game. Uh, Nawal, yes. yeah, is your audio working? Great. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, MCs to kindly note we have Nawal left as she has some internet problem. So we'll be doing her poem after the game, right? Thank you. Okay, so parents, come on, switch on your videos. We'd like to see your gorgeous face and a beautiful smile as always. And Shreyas, make sure, make sure that uh, the, all the other rules have been set to the parents already. Right. Okay, I hope I've pinned the oh, yes, maximum people yes. now. Right. Okay. Yeah. And the final rule is smile when you are answering the question. So hereby, I'm going to start with the first question. The first question is, what month of the year has 28 days? All I month. I repeat, what month of the year has 28 days? All months. Okay. Okay, um, ma'am, ma you need to keep your hands raised. Our uh, judge will tell you to unmute because then okay. it will be very confusing. Yeah. Lokesh, you can give one point to uh, Miss Nita, Isha's parent. Yeah? Yes. Thank you so much. Parents, come on. I know it's uh, we behave like kids. <laughs> okay, Shreyas, go ahead. Second question. What gets wet while drying? I again repeat. What gets wet while drying? Right. Uh, Lokesh, uh, uh, can, yeah, yeah. yeah, can we have yeah? Can we have Miss um, Jumeria say? Ms. Sorry, uh, Ms. Doc, okay, doc, okay, Miss Kossar. Towel. Yeah, correct answer. Okay, Shreyas, with that energy, come on, mommies are participating. Yeah. That's the right answer. That's the right answer. Yeah. Okay. I shave every day, but my beard stays the same. What am I? I repeat. I shave every day, but my beard stays the same. What am I? Keep your oh, hands it's raised. a tricky question, I think so. Lokesh keeps seeing if ones who are raising their hands. Yeah. Shreya's yeah. Shreya's mother. Shreya's mother. Shreya's Shreya's mother. mother. Yeah. Yes, yes ma'am. What's the answer? Don't ask the answer. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Sorry? Yeah. Bye -bye. Uh, can, we, can you repeat, ma'am? She's telling Barber. 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 Yeah, that's the right answer. Wow. wow. I hope there's no match fixing in the house, huh? Shreyas? No, 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 no. Okay. Please continue. Yes, ma'am. So, the third question is, a fourth question is, at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, the shadow of everything is small. But the shadow of what is the biggest? I repeat, at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, the shadow of everything is small. But the shadow of what is the biggest? Again, Shreya. Yeah. Yes, again, Shreya's mother. I tried. Cloud. Yeah, correct. Ma'am, correct. Cloud, okay. Cloud. <laughs> right. Okay. okay, next question. Food is left on the table, but when the table is eaten, I again repeat, food is left on the table, but when the table is eaten. Can you repeat that? Didn't understand that. Yeah, yeah. Food is left on the table, but when the table is eaten. If mommies are not answering, we are going to allow the children to answer. Yeah. Okay. And Shreyas? Yeah. Lokesh, you Lokesh, Lokesh, you're the judge, please. No. Yeah. Uh, judge can't. I thought judge can. Judge can't. No, Miss, no. can I? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure, Hasnan. Go ahead. Is it a remainder? No. Come on, audience. From the audience, is anyone having any clue about the answer? It's really difficult, I guess. MC, 
would you would you Juvelia, I want to answer. Juvelia. Yeah, Juvelia. Um, is it plates? Sorry, plates. can you repeat? Plates? No, no, no. All right, sure, you can give us the answer. So the answer is vegetable. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. The sixth right. question is, you see a boat filled with people, yet there isn't a single person on the boat. How is that possible? I repeat, you see a boat filled with people, yet there isn't a single person on board. How is that possible? Tanisha's mom is raising her hand. Yes, ma'am. They, they all are married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> correct. That's a correct answer. Wow. Awesome sauce. All right. Shreyas, how many more questions do we have? Ma'am, uh, we have another... Uh, we have another... Uh, uh, three questions. Okay. Two questions. Sorry, two questions. Okay, go ahead. A man dies of old age on, on his 25th birthday. How is this possible? I repeat, a man dies of old age on his 25th birthday. How is that possible? Kossar, Miss Kossar is raising her hand. He was born on the 28th of February. Uh, 28th, yeah, got it. <laughs> sorry, sure. 29th. Sorry, 29th. 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 Sorry. sorry, I meant 29th. Yeah. <laughs> correct. 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 Okay. Now the last That's question. That's correct answer. Fantastic. Fantabulous. The last question. David's parents have three sons: Snap, Crackle, and what's the name of the third son? David's parents have three sons: Snap, Crackle. And what's the name we, of the third son? We have Miss Mehtab as well, the parent of Aisha. Ma'am, would you like to answer? Uh, sure, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, David? Sorry, can you repeat? David? Yeah, yeah, correct. That's a correct answer. Oh, Fantastic, fantabulous. Miss, right. what's her name again? Aisha's parent. Aisha's parent, Miss Mehtab. Great job, parents. It was a mind-boggling quiz for yes. you all. And we would like to know... Aisha or Aisha? Uh, Aisha, Aisha. Aisha, Nuha. Can we just get the score from our uh, scorekeeper? How many of... How, which parent has got the maximum point? Just announce the name. It's a tie between two parents. Okay. And who are they? I, it's Shreya's mother and Miss Kossar. Oh, Shreya's mom and Miss Kossar. Yes, uh, ma'am. Uh, ma I have two questions with me left. So no, can I share no, that? No, no, no. We'll go with the second segment, Shreya. Okay, ma'am. So congratulations, Miss Kossar and Miss Mukulika for doing such a fab job. Wow. Come on, children. Congratulations. 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 Now we are going to go to the well, second that... segment. Shreya, could you please tell us quickly what is yeah. this about? I'm really yes, excited. So the... Hereby, we are going to start with the second and the last segment. That is rebuttal tennis or word tennis. I request Taranum ma'am to announce the pairs and the topics. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Shreyas. So parents, this is a very unique game which we usually play in our class. I'm sure you must have witnessed this. Witnessed this. So where this is just like a uh, just like a debate where you have one person speaking for the topic and the other person speaking against the topic. This time you're going to get the topic impromptu. Like you on the spot, you get the topic and you choose the stand if you are going to go for or you're going to go against. This is one of the most favorite games which all children love to play. But today they want to hear you defend or stand for or against the motion, right? So may I have the volunteers for this game, please? Anyone who's ready for the war of words? Come on, parents. We, I need two in this uh, round. Okay, so we have um, anyone? I can see two hands up. Okay, so Miss Kossar would like to volunteer and Miss Seher would like to volunteer. Wonderful. So we have Asnan and Palak's mother who would like to go and we have Nawal's mom who would like who was ready for the rebuttal tennis. Right, so fine. Are you both ready? Show, can you show me thumbs up? Yes. You both have to unmute so you can immediately tell me are you going to go for or against. Okay. You have to unmute. Right. So uh, ladies, the motion for today's debate is raising a girl child is easier than raising a boy. Raising a girl is easier than raising a boy. 
So who's going to go with girls and who's going to go with boys? I'd go with boys. Okay, so raising a boy yeah. is easier. That's what Miss Kaur against the motion. All right. So Miss Miss Seher is going to say that raising a girl is easier, and Miss Kaur is going to say raising a boy is easier. So we would like to know oh, from you. Oh, I'll say raising a girl is easier, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Over to you, both. <laughs> who's, who's starting so honestly, the debate? I believe it's the same, but we, for the purpose of debate, we shall go ahead with it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, raising a girl is easier. So Miss Seher, we we want you to start. See, honestly, I think I would be good if I had honestly believed in this notion, and I would have had some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not to say that I think um, equally it's challenging. It's equally um, gifting. Uh, this is what I believe in, uh, whatever gender your child may be. Um, so um, it's um, it's a process which every parent goes through, and so does the child. So. Mm. I know I'm not at all. Ma'am, you're being very diplomatic. You have to say yeah. that raising a girl is easier. <laughs> all right, we we want to hear from Miss Kaur. Is raising a boy easier? Because that's what you support. Yeah, um, I think in today's times where we are, um, as compared to what previously it was, much more easier raising girls. It was a different. Um, it was a different environment. It was a different uh, the school settings and. Um, you know, it was it was different as compared to what it is today. And today, I think that uh, uh, boys are a lot more easier. Not that they are easier in in other ways, but I think that um, it's uh, it's it's a little bit more challenging to raise girls today as compared to it would be raising boys. Uh, and I say that because not because I I mean I do have a daughter and a son both, and I think it's equally challenging as uh, Seher is saying that. But I think that uh, somewhere it is uh, it gets a little more. Uh, little slightly more challenging to raise girls uh, than to raise um, uh, boys. All right. So, uh, Miss Seher, you need to disagree with her on this and say that no, you disagree <laughs> that raising a girl because of because I just, of all the complications it brings when boys are. I, uh, I just feel that uh, if the moment I disagree, I'm just being gender biased. <laughs> No, no, no. We are, no, here, we are just doing it for of, fun. There is no... <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that. We we also choose such topics where kids have to say that moms do less work than than dads, even though they don't agree. <laughs> so please, please, you have to you because kids are going to vote for you. Okay, so please prove your point. Yeah. Okay. After this, I don't know if my daughter also will vote for me because. <laughs> I'm, I'm clearly not putting up a right stance. Okay. Um, okay. If I say, um, um, I think girls uh, are um, they they're more mature at an earlier age, if I can say so, um, and uh, because of that, the level of understanding is a lot better. So you do have it's easier to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with them, explain things out to them, um, and. Um, you know, clearly explain to them what their boundaries are and what are the, I mean, what are the things that they can, they're allowed to tackle. So I guess, right. yes. And um, the challenges that everyone faces are pretty much the same. It's just that I think girls are able to handle it emotionally better. Okay, so that's what, uh, that's how the female is made. So when you emotionally handle things better, um, you're able to face um, challenges uh, you know, in a better way. So there are two things. One is the maturity level, and the second is their emotional uh, things. So and nowadays, awesome. today we talk about emotional intelligence and all these things to um, you know at um, different levels. So these are things that I believe the girls uh, understand at an earlier age. So Miss Kosser, she is clearly rebutting your point, saying that the boys are immature. They have behavior issues. It's difficult to raise a boy. You know, so much as I want to agree to you, but I will want to disagree to you because I've chosen this side of it. But um, no, I mean, uh, oh, Hasan is saying that's not fair. No, that's that's not true. I think boys are today a lot more emotionally uh, balanced as well. I mean, I would say that because I, I know I've seen my own son a lot more emotionally balanced, 
a lot more uh, children are getting a lot more mature uh, boys are getting a lot more mature that's also because of the the uh, the awareness that they have around them uh, the awareness that they see in school uh, you know things like mothers day and women's day and all these things being celebrated uh, seeing seeing a working mother at home has made them a lot like when they see me coming back from work and serving them lunch and cooking and also getting up early in the morning and working i think that is um, that is raising them um, uh, a lot more maturely versus when when you know when our brothers and fathers did not really see their moms really uh, do this this double role of working outside and working at home it was a lot different and i think today boys are a lot more understanding like um, like us then would definitely uh, see that you know there are days when i'm struggling with work and he'll be like mom can i help you and you know he'll he'll do the vacuum and he'll do the dishes so i think that it's 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 you can't really say that girls are the only mature ones here i mean boys are and it's oh. not like we are it's not like we are uh, it's not like i tell him but he sees it and i think they notice a lot much more than girls a lot more than girls boys notice uh the the pain that the mother is taking to run the house versus a, they see that the father will just come home in the evening and just sit but a mother cannot do that you know so they notice it and they are growing a lot more so this is this is why i believe that they are emotionally stronger and uh, they are getting mature versus compared to the boys in the earlier age right thank you so much miss kosar and miss miss seher for such a wonderful performance i know it's Can difficult to uh, yeah, yeah yeah go ahead go ahead okay um well i as uh, as much as i agree with uh, kosar especially on her point that this generation is probably a lot more aware uh which i agree they definitely more of the boys are more aware than the previous generations but what i mean is they are still not as aware as the the females you know uh, the girls they are still emotionally and things not as um aware as the girls this is the only point that i have all right okay <laughs> thank you so much performers so our audience is waiting to share their votes for you okay so please appeal them appeal to them to vote for you i'm going to launch the poll so come on audience put up your votes for your performers who have really persuaded you to believe that girl is it's easier to raise a girl than a boy Come on! I'd like to see okay. you okay. voting. Yes, firstly, All there is right. more girls One. than boys in this class. Yeah. So, ten more seconds to vote. I hope everyone's uh, voting because once it's closed, you can't. I can't vote for myself. Yeah. No, you can't. <laughs> I mean, you you still can. I, I mean, I just can. But then, but then they have yeah, to vote for the other person. They just you have to vote. <laughs> there are only two it's people. Okay, Mavish, we have to vote for the other person. It's okay, Mavish. Yeah, mo mommies, we and it's their day, so let's give them the liberty. Okay, mommy, so you can vote for yourself. Also. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> right. So you want to know the result? Who won? Is it yeah. easy to raise a girl or a boy? And yeah. the result is, it's easier to oh. raise oh. a boy than a girl. That's Is it because there are more no boys around? <laughs> That's because no, all the boys no, are voting for the no, boys. No, there's more girls. All right, Actually, thank you so girls. much, mommies. Thank you so much, mommies, for uh, this. So, um, on that note, we had planned for one more rebuttal tennis. Do we have any more parent who is interested to come forward, or else we can go with our previous performance, which is pending? Do we? Can we have two parents who is interested, who has not uh, gotten a chance? I'd love to hear it from. Come on, otherwise our children are going to pick you. Yes, Miss Nita would like to participate. Okay, and now we are going to come with another sizzling debate topic, which you can wait for. And we are we want one more participant. And who is that? Miss Meta. Okay, Miss Meta, raise your hand as well. And we also have Miss uh, Payal who wants to participate. So guys, can we have three of them do for the debate? Or we can go with or we can go with three, four. Three. Can I have one more? So we yeah. have two. Three. Can we have one more? Two, one two, more parent we can do two teams two two yes we have two teams then yes miss neta you need to switch on your video right what about what about dr shagufta why don't you go ahead we have two teams then or oh, miss fatima miss fatima is a debate candidate fatima ma'am miss no. fatima come on we want you 
All right, count me in. Yeah, please, please on your video. Right. One All right. moment, yeah. Because the topic kind of matches you, so I want you to be here. <laughs> All right, can you on your video? Thank you. Right. I can't see you still. Can you raise your hand? I, it's a lot of. Uh, Miss Fatima, did you switch on your video? I can't see you still. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see you. Great. So, audience, be heard because your mommies are going to showcase another debate. So, please wa keep watch out for the most persuasive debate. Okay, not what you have an opinion about. Watch out for the persuading debate. So, there are two teams which are going to be here. One is going to be Miss Neeta, which is Isha's mom. And one is going to be Miss Mehta, which is Aisha's mom. So, Isha and Aisha's mom as a team. And we have Miss Payal and Miss Fatima as a team. Okay. Now, the topic for you both is mothers spend more money than fathers. Mothers spend more money than fathers. So, uh, can we have Isha, Aisha's team decide to, or the other team? What, what would you like to go for? Or uh, I can... Mothers yes, spend more money than fathers. I right. do not agree to that. Okay, so we have Miss uh, Miss Fatima and Miss Payal's team saying that they spend more money, right? Oh no, sorry, they they don't they don't spend more money. No, no, Miss Mehta, what do you want to pick? Mothers do not spend more money. Do not spend more money. So Miss Miss um, um, uh, Payal and Miss Fatima would like have to say that fathers spend. Uh, uh, sorry, mothers spend more money, and they are going to say that fathers spend more money. If I'm right, okay. Yeah, Fine. I can completely relate to this. <laughs> okay. So so all heads up for this. Yes. yes. Come on, start. Team one. Mothers spend so more money. Come on, open your debate. I think uh, especially this comes as an advantage when mothers are working. So they feel that, you know, since they don't have as many responsibilities as fathers do, so they have the liberty to spend as much as they could on their children. Okay. So if Over you, to you. you spend more money. Yeah. So you think... So I feel, yes, mothers do spend a lot on their children. All right. Okay. But they deserve it. Of course. Okay. <laughs> yes, Ms. Mehta. So my point is actually mothers do not spend money on unnecessary things, but they do spend money on things which are required, like for their kids' education and things like that. So, and fathers, they tend to spend more money when they go look for sales on electronics and, you know, the latest yeah. gadgets and things like right. that. Right. So, uh, that is why I felt that mothers do not spend that much of money. They are more, you know, futuristic, uh, whereas uh, I think fathers are very much, you know, uh, practical in for the moment. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Ms. Payal, you have to rebut her point saying that fathers uh, spend on electronics. So you have to agree to that. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, actually, I do agree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because fathers always uh, buy uh, gadgets like whenever kids want uh, iPad or MacBook, they, they means they will tell, okay, fine, you can go for it. When mother thinks like if, if, if we uh, uh, spend money, on gadgets like it's not about money but the whole day kids will spend time on gadgets so Ms. And, Pyle, you have to say that she's telling that fathers are thinking about the present they don't they are not thinking about the child i mean the future while the mothers are investing more in the future for student for children and not for themselves so you have to say that how mothers spend money on their beauty parlors and cosmetics and uh, you know all of these things okay so i have to i have to disagree yes like, yes, okay, yes you okay. have to disagree to her yes so mother should not mother should not waste money on okay oh, yes. this is very <laughs> okay fine okay fine yeah mother should not uh, mother should not spend money on uh, beauty parlor and whenever like what happens now whenever mother see some sale or discounts they immediately they go and buy things right they they think like we we immediately we have to grab it but actually uh, we should think uh, mother should think about future and uh, uh, they have to save money. Right. So, Miss Nita, mothers don't save that much money as compared to the fathers. Do you agree? No, but I am in this team. Na? The <laughs> fathers spend more than mothers. Right? Correct. correct. Yes. 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 So that is this is also confusion. Like, uh, for I the know. children, for the children, they want something. Yes, immediately. Yes, yeah, yeah, you go. And mothers are like, okay, no, it's not required. No, don't buy it. And fathers are, no, you need it, so buy for her and like that. 
सो फादर्स इन दैट सेंस दे डोंट लुक एज माय डियर फ्रेंड सेड के फ्यूचर का दे डोंट थिंक अबाउट फ्यूचर एंड वी मदर्स एज अ मदर नहीं नॉट रिक्वायर यस डोंट स्पेंड राइट नाउ ओके इन फ्यूचर इफ यू रिक्वायर यस व्हाई नॉट सो फादर्स डू स्पेंड मोर and uh, the their child i mean their daughter okay. son whoever like they are very uh, like for them ke ha bas kuch bhi they are ready so i agree to that right. yes father spend so, more miss fatima you need to please But support the father opinion, please support yeah, the father in my opinion in my opinion what it is mothers have soft corner for the children and you know they also love to spoil their children Absolutely. when it comes to when it comes to meeting their demands so i think mothers spends more than fathers because mothers i think they don't oversee or they don't have that kind of pressure with regards to futuristic investments or something but then they have the liberty over what they earn so i think mothers spend more than fathers Absolutely. i think you are speaking in the point of view as a mother for a son yes <laughs> yes because mothers the only have son <laughs> yeah so in that sense uh, you might be you know <laughs> but when it comes to daughters the mother is always uh, you know very protective about what is there for her even even though she has her own earning i think uh, it is the fathers who want to spend more for their kids because uh, they are more closer to their daughters uh, but uh, when it comes to their sons they still restrict you know this is i think that's how it is <laughs> all right okay can you appeal for uh, for the vote please moms can you please give your closing remarks Yes, I so so I would like to conclude on this saying that mothers are born with soft corners, and I think she would rather sacrifice her needs and she would make sure that her child's needs are fulfilled. So I would like to end on this note that mothers do spend more than fathers. All right, yay! Come on, Miss Mehta and Miss Nita. Uh, mothers uh, do not spend more for the same reasons because they love their kids too in the same way as the fathers. but uh, mothers are uh, more you know uh, more planned about their future and things like that whereas dads spend more money because they feel that their kid should be in par with all the other kids around them so uh, that is why they uh, tend to spend more money presently oh, that's what Thanks. i would say geeta could you say else? something miss payal you want to add something yes your closing remarks I feel my mother mother should not spend uh, uh, money uh, on kids like uh, unnecessary demands like kids want yes. uh, some junk food and yes. uh, al always my kids ask for junk food and I always disagree yes. and uh, her father always say yeah you can go for that so I All feel right. uh, we should not uh, spend yeah. uh, uh, junk not food or whatever kids ask unnecessary yeah. demands. right so mothers mothers spoil the kids more with the choices and whatever they demand instead of fathers okay who are more restricted because they have the financial planning and bu budgeting at home while mothers are free to uh, spend and plan and do things all right miss nita you would you like to add something or can we launch the poll ma'am i would uh, agree with your statement mothers in fact i mean from as i what i think is they have they plan i mean they have everything uh, planned like and okay. fathers like they are uh, as my dear friend said again junk food yes you want to eat uh, macdi fries yeah we are ordering it like that and we mothers like no we ate it la last i mean before two days so not right now i mean we don't right. agree to those things so i feel ke they fathers are like ha ke chalo chalta hai right. and so i i mean i conclude with fathers spend more than mothers all right thank you so much teams All right, come on, audience. Vote for your favorite team, and how, which team was more persuasive? Mother spending more money or father spending more money, and how, how exactly they 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 spend it? That was also discussed in the debate. Wow, this is getting very interesting because I can see the voting, uh, the poll going up and down like a roller coaster, and I'm going to now share the screen with the result. Okay. If you have not voted, kindly vote. All right. So here we go. Are you ready? Drum rolls, kids. Who do you think has won? Wendy. Who do you think Drum. has won? Oh, I think. Right. 
Oh, wow. yeah. So Aisha and Isha's team has won the debate. But thank yeah. you so much, parents. All four of you did such an amazing job as speakers. Kids, kids, don't you think all the parents deserve a round of applause? Come on, come on, come on. Show some reactions for them. They were really, really well done to all of the parents. Right. MCs, can we please call Nawal for her performance quickly? Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for giving me this. Thank you, Shreyas. You are a rock star. Thank you. Can we hear it for Shreyas? <laughs> All right. MC, over to you. Thanks, everyone. Okay. So, once again, let's welcome Nawal Sheikh with her poem, Mother's Love. Happy Mother's Day. My name is Nawal Sheikh. I've composed this poem with my heart and soul for the very first time in which I want to de dedicate to all the mothers. The title of this poem is The Mother's Love. A mother's love, how sweet the name. What is a mother's love? It's a noble, pure, and tender flame. A mother's love is the purest of loves ever to be found. A mother's love confides you in your darkest days and cheers you on your choice of ways. She's the one that loved you from the start and will love you the most till the day you part. A mother's love is precious and sensitive. A mother's rage is loud and clear. A mother's guidance and thoughts are helpful. A mother, the person with the ability to detect any lie, hear the smallest noises and see at the back of her head. She's the one that cleans the dishes, cooks the food, scrubs down the floor, even when she's in a bad mood. They've been our rock throughout every step of life, demanding nothing in return. Thank you will never be enough for you, my counselor, my guardian angel, but most importantly, my mom. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you, Nawal. Can we hear it for Nawal? Wonderfully written poem, Nawal. So proud of you. All right, all, all right. Uh, signing off by our two gorgeous and ever so smiling and cheerful MCs. Wow, wow, wow. I am left speechless. What a splendid show we have witnessed today. A huge thank you to our students for putting their hearts into their preparations. And of course, our mothers for always putting their efforts and sacrifices and love. So, so mummies, it's your day. So relax, enjoy your day. And once again, happy Mother's Day. It's us, Hudson and Hazel signing off. Bye. Thank you, Hazel and Asnain. Can we please hear it loud and clear for our MCs, Hasnan and Hazel, for, pull, for pulling up this, this performance with so much ease and in such a short notice. <laughs> so thank you so very much. So audience, I hope you had a very, very fantastic time listening to all the performances. So I'm not asking these questions to you. I'm asking this question to, to the mommies who were our special guests. So may I get a quick feedback from our, um, our mummies, how they felt being here and just give us a quick feedback for one minute. So can we have anyone who is interested to share with us? We would love to know from you. Yes, so we'll go with Ms. Mehta. Yes, please, ma'am, over to you. Uh, yeah, it was really nice. I mean, uh, this rebuttal, it was a, a different experience for mothers. You know, it's been a long time since we've been actually involving ourselves we just involve ourselves in so much of work so this was really relaxing it was a very nice day uh, a very, very nice way to celebrate mother's day for our us mothers thank you so much thank you miss mehta for coming this really mean a lot to me thank you thank okay you. let's hear it from dr shagupta yes ma'am uh, we can't hear you yeah yeah we can Yes, yeah, yes. wishing all mothers a very happy Mother's Day. And actually, we all are very pleased to hear all the good words said by our kids. And uh, we all are really very happy. Thank you so much for making our day special. Thank you so much, Dr. Shagupta. This really, really, I am very happy that you, you felt happy being here. Uh, exactly. Thank yeah. you. Right. Can we have a few more words from the audience here? Uh, yes, anyone? Miss... Uh, Ms. Kossar? Yes. 
Thank you so much. Um, firstly, a very happy Mother's Day to all the lovely mummies here and to you, Ms. Taranum. Thank you for organizing this event, uh, really a very meaningful event and more meaningful uh, as mothers to all of us to see our children perform, you know, not just us. So really, thank you so much. Uh, was a very nice, very entertaining and very interactive uh, morning with all the different mummies. So thank you so much. Thank you to the lovely children. You all did a great job and thank you, Ms. Taranum, once again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Kossel. Right. Can we hear from Shreyas as well? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Unmute, please. Yeah. No, we can't hear you. Your audio is not, not there. Yeah. No. Yeah, ma'am, you can fix your audio, please. All right, Ms. Fatima. Ms. Fatima is our guest. Her child does not study in this club, but she's a part of another club uh, as the child is in grade three, if I'm not wrong going to get grade four, right? But she chose to be here amidst us just to just to feel good about the day, right? So, Ms. Fatima, what do you want to say? Firstly, I would like to thank all the children here for the amazing performances. Thank you, Tarunam, for initiating this. And thank you, parents, for your contribution. Yeah, you, you guys definitely made this day very special because I wasn't aware that it's Mother's Day today. And only because of this event, I felt so good. And you, you all ensure that we all mothers feel so special about this day. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Fatima. Yes, uh, yes, Ms. Mukulika, is, is the audio working now? Can we check it? Uh, you have to unmute, ma'am. Hello? Yes? Yes, ma'am, we can hear you now. Yes. Happy Mother's Day to you and all of the gorgeous mummies. <laughs> and thank you very much you. to arrange this event today. It is so special for me and my son Suryash. Um, I was very afraid, but he, he um, gave me confidence to please go ahead. This is a game and I'm so happy. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Right. Ms. Payal, a few words from you. Uh, wishing uh, happy Mother's Day to all lovely mommies. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much, kids. Uh, they have done an amazing job. Thank you, Tarannu, ma'am, for your constant support. And always you are so enthusiastic and always like I can see lovely smile on your face. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, really had fun. Uh, please plan like monthly ones for mommies yeah. also. <laughs> That's a great, so, great idea. Thank and, you. The so debate much. was great. Like actually first topic was my favorite one. Actually, oh, yeah, I really okay. I could participate. <laughs> Right, right. We'll, we'll have more such gatherings. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Do we have any other parent who we have missed who would like to say a few words? Right. All right, uh, audience. We have a very special person amidst us who I would like to honor. Um, who I have. All right. All right. Yeah. Ma ma you. <laughs> okay. 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 Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ma'am. Yes. Happy, yes uh, happy Mother's Day to all lovely mothers. It was very nice and I felt so happy to hear all these performances, ma'am. Our day becomes special after this. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you thank so you. much, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Vaishali. Her two of her kids are with us. And let me tell you, she's been such a wonderful parent, uh, mm -hmm. ever so happy and ever so supportive. This I don't think I would have been able to be a great mentor to your kids without your trust in me. You know, that motivates me to do the best. So, yes. mommies, thank you very much. You made, you so made much. our day special too. So, uh, on that note, I would just like to acknowledge the presence of a very special person in my life who is none other than my own mom, who I want to honor on this day, who's joined uh, with us today in this, um, in this event, just to motivate me and just to be there for me. You know, that made, made my day so special. So, mommy, thank you so much for coming. I think you're Hello, everyone. Thank you for the Thank you. Thank you, mommy, Hello, for everything. Hello. Right. Hello, I think my, my kids also got to see you. They keep asking me. Okay. And most of them don't believe that Arshia is my daughter. So, but yeah, Arshia is my daughter. Right. So, yes. So, that's about it. Thank you, everyone. Can we have a nice, cute selfie together? Uh, may I request all of you to switch on their videos yeah. for a moment? Isha, jaldi aao. Selfie leva nahi to jaldi. All right. So we, we heard what mommy, how mommies instruct their kids usually. Right. So let's pose for a cute selfie with your kids. Come on. Yay. That's beautiful. Come on, MC. Al Hasnan. Whoa. 
Dhruv, yay. Come on, Dhruv. A big smile on your face. Lokesh, where are you, Lokesh? We are missing you. This looks like the best one. Miss Fatima, please be here. Right. Lokesh, is, here, oh, yes. Lokesh is with the mummy. Okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah. One more time. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much. Thank you, children. You did so good. I'm so proud of you. I'm going to see you all in the next class. Bye. Enjoy with your mommy. Yeah. Make her feel special. Can every you take day. water? Bye. Thank you. Bye, man. Bye, man. Bye, 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 Bye,